Alright guys, I'm going to show you why the variators on a CVT transmission fail. Now CVT is up to about 9 or 10. This is from a CVT7. And this what I got apart right here. This is the primary uh, uh, variator. And this one is the secondary. The secondary is the one you want to be scared about taking that apart because there was a huge spring in here. Now I already took this one apart. This one was like this and then the bearing and then the gear and then the nut. It did look like that. You want to take that off. Taking this nut off is reversible thread so to, you want to tighten it up to take it off. Take that off then you're going to set it in a, a vise or they have a special tool um, a uh, posi track and this tool is like four or five hundred dollars I'm gonna show you how to take this apart without using that tool and actually the way I'm gonna show you it's actually gonna be safer <laughs> than what they show you all right now usually you would rebuild one of these but this one and the other one we're not we're just going to replace them i'm going to show you why let's take this bearing back off um and this part will come off right here and then you're going to have this part right here and this part right here is going to be pressed on to the shaft so i already took that off this is the part you're going to be rebuilding inside of here there is a seal inside that groove and that seal, that when you put it together, you got to make sure that seal locks into place just like that. If it's off in any kind of way, you just damage this whole transmission and you got to take it back out and do it all again. So you want to make sure there's when it's around it. Okay. You want to make sure when you put this together you put one in and then you make sure the other one latches over it just like that and it forms that complete seal because this part is pressed down onto that and then this hub inside you got to make sure it's nice and smooth inside because this is going to go down and press right into there and that's the seal now you remember early on another video we did we pressed some push some air through it and it was leaking all over the place hold this up. and what I'm gonna do is take some carburetor cleaner and I don't know if that's what it works yeah I see them you saw them? Yeah. So, it was leaking through that seal right here. These seals are garbage. And in, in, in all transmissions, um, well, all CVTs, it does the same thing. But that is not our problem because, put this up, put that up. The one, um, the one sheath pulley right here, take that up. If you take it up, you got to be careful because there's going to be a bearing and a sleeve right here. Now putting this together is really easy and you're going to have four slots on this sheath pulley but one of them is going to have oh that's good right there it's going to be a let me see let me get this it's going to be a wider opening so that can fit in there because if you go to the other ones it will not go it will not go in there so when you put this back together, the pulley right here, and while I'm over here, this is why we're changing it. Look at this sheath right here. Look how damaged it is. Now see, this is messed up because a lot of transmission places, they was like, ah, it's good. Leave it alone. But you got to remember, this thing is spinning at approximately like five, six hundred RPM. And that metal belt is constantly going up against there. If you got it messed up like this, it is going to damage that belt. The transmission is going to work, but within six six months to a year, it's going to fail completely. So you don't want to take a chance. You want to replace the whole. This is we're going to be replacing the entire primary uh, variator. But if you are rebuilding this, when you put that seal on it, you have a groove right here. That's where that bearing will set in. So what you want to do 
is align that with the that big opening that I will show you. Align it up with that slot. Bring it down. Take your bearing. You're gonna put it. Let me just get that right there. In between there. It's gonna go in between the slot just like that. You're gonna line that up. And it's gonna it's actually gonna fall right into place. Let me just get that. There we go. And you're just gonna keep on twisting that until that bearing lines up and it'll fall right in. Bam. Just like that. And that bearing, now you won't be able to put move this sheath back and forth, but that's what slides up and down. And then you put the rest of it together. Now, as again, like I was telling you, now we're gonna be doing the this taking this one apart because no actually I don't even gotta take it apart. Let me show you. Show you. Wipe this off. Now this one is pretty clean, but I can tell there's marks inside. And we're gonna have to take it, we're gonna take it apart and show you. So what you're gonna do is take this nut off. Now they got this special tool that grabs onto this, this posi lock. You do not need that. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna use. You're gonna be using a bearing puller and a nice uh, rag. And what you're gonna do And I don't, I don't know why nobody shows you how to do it this way. They show you the other way. Because the other way, they, they, they got these, this big jaw. And it comes down. And the jaw will grab onto that pulley. And it'll pull it up. I mean, you're taking a chance of damaging that. You, you don't want to do that. This way, you're getting more surface coverage. So you take it apart. Put it right in between, just like that. Put the other one on, bring it in just till it touches, and then put the screws on it, that's on each end, and that will hold it into place. Now, also, if you want if you want more of a coverage, I like using it this way. But if you want more of a coverage, like see, I'm like barely at the edges. I'm at if you look right there, I'm like barely at the edges of the nut. I don't I don't mount on to much threads. But you don't really have this. There's not a lot of pressure pulling out of it, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're scared about that, you can always take it, turn the tool over which is indents in here, and that way, it'll go in a little bit more. But again, I don't like doing it that way. I like doing it this way. So you get this, get this on. And again, it don't have to be on by a lot of threads because the pressure is just on that. And once you get it like that, Get it on a couple threads. In this case, I'll be taking two rags. And what you want to do is take the rag, or if you want, take the rag, stick it right between that and the sheath, and that's going to give you that kind of cushion. So now you got that, and then you're going to put it onto the press. Well, you're going to take the nut off and then press downward. We're going to set this up and then I'm going to show you. All right, now the primary is easy to take apart. The secondary is a little bit more complicated because of that spring. And you can see how I got it set up. Got our bearing separator set in there. Got our rag set around there. Got a block of wood up on here with a rag in it. So when it pops down, it takes apart. Now, you notice I didn't take the nut completely out yet. Oh, yeah, also, this, all, this nut is also, um, just like the primary, 
this one is um, reversible thread also. So to take it off, you gotta tighten it up. But what size is it? Uh, Forty-five millimeter. Now it's gonna be different depending on what CVT you're working on. There's gonna be different sizes. This, uh, the seven is a forty-five. So now, <coughs> now we got it set up. Now we can completely take the nut off set our pin up under there and make sure everything is lined up pretty good I'm to try to slide this back over here just a little bit all right take your press and you just start bringing it down make sure everything is All right, now you're gonna start pushing it. Now, when you start pressing this, this sheath right here, this part is gonna start going up because what you're gonna be doing is actually compressing that spring. And then you're gonna be um, removing it from, because it's pressed onto a shaft, you're gonna be taking it off that shaft. And all of a sudden, as soon as it comes off that shaft, this thing is gonna scare you. This thing is gonna be like, boom, and just break down. That's why you gotta have something soft down here. So y'all wanna make sure y'all step back on this. And, and now you can see how watch this part will start going down into that sheath right there. Yeah, buddy, look at that. So I'm good right here. I'm good. I'm, I'm safe and I'm good to go. And then it's gonna get to a point where I'm gonna where it's gonna stop. And right there, it stopped. So now I know now when I start pressing down, now I'm gonna be starting to um, separate this. There it is, it's coming apart. There it is right there, the whole thing just complete. Now putting it together, you're gonna be pressing it together so it's not that bad at all. So we get that down. There's a spring I was telling you about. That spring is huge. That spring is huge. That's where that spring goes right into here like this. And look at that right there. That is all press down together. So let's take this assembly and get it up on our workbench. All right, we got the bottom half here. And as you can tell, this one, let's grab, a, grab our other one over here. Get us a rag. Now this one looks a lot better. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but you can still see like up here. Up on this end, look how nice and smooth that is. That's how that whole sheath right there is supposed to be. The surface is supposed to be, but right there and there, and I can rub my fingers across it, that is kind of rough. And again, you do not want to take any kind of chances whatsoever. And you can see that one, that one is definitely no good. So we're going to put this one out of the way. Now usually you just get, you, in your kit you'll have the, all the brand new seals and you put that whole thing back, to, rebuild them and put them back together. Now let's, uh... Put our rag down here. And here's our other pieces. This is the top piece that goes down like this. And there's another one of those seals. There it is, right there. I just had it. There it is. There's another one of those seals right there. And these is what go bad on these transmission, and it loses a lot of pressure. And actually, the code on this was that actually loss of pressure. So we got that one. And when you want to, when you take this apart, what you want to do is try to. Um, put it in order like you see how I did the primary I put it in order so when you put it back together you know exactly how it goes and we got that huge big spring so let me see this the bottom and let's get this all this this right here you want to feel inside there that looks this it's really smooth inside here I mean other than the actual damage on the outside, let me get another rag and wipe that one off. And this one as well, if you look inside, you see that little plate with the bearing. So that has that as well. Over here. Okay, let's wipe this off. 
you can see that one is damaged a uh, scorn as well so you just can't again I could put this transmission together and I know it'll last uh, six months to a year and you know a year is the warranty so it'd be like yeah, hey you out of warranty but you don't want to do that man you want to make sure that these things are put together right so what I would do is just put this change the seal if everything was good clean all this up you spin the bearing and you you want to hear from any kind of like uh, you'll actually feel you'll hear like a whining noise or a grinding noise then you know if the bearing is bad or not and then when that once that seal is put in there thing will set right in there just like that and one and then what you would do is actually put it on the press put a cup that will hold it around this circumference right there they'll hold into there and you would press down and you'll keep on pressing down and that little section right there will press down onto the shaft right down to right down to that point it would actually press down onto it and once you get that pressed down all the way like right now if I put it on So it's right now at the top of there. So now I will press that down and then put the nut on it. And that will be rebuilt. But we can't do that. And now I gotta take that off. So that's what fails on these guys. You gotta be careful with these seals. You gotta definitely put those seals. Even though it's hard to difficult it's difficult to re uh to take apart the, the, the primary Z, the secondary, you have to do that. I should have showed you before I took this apart because check it out. What you're going to do is, not this end. On this end, you're going to see splines in there. You don't have to worry about that. Go to the other end and just like we did the primary, stick a hose right there or blow some air in there. You're going to blow some air in there. When you blow air into there, it's just like fluid going into there. It's going to come out through here, it's going to go in, come out through here, and it's going to force that, force that pulley. It's going to force, when you, put, when you blow air in there, it's going to force all fluid into here and force this out like this. It's going to force it out, it's going to actually so much PSI, it's going to compress this spring. So that's how much pressure these transmissions work under, so any kind of leak, it's not going to work. So if you put air through here, if you hear any kind of fluid or air leaking out from around here, that means that seal is no good. But even if you don't, if you got this apart, change that seal. Alright, I hope this guy's helped you out on rebuilding this transmission. Take care.